Yo, yo, yo. CPA strength back. Strongest in the game. Strongest CPA in the game, bitch. Yeah, we're working on it every day. We're getting it in. This is accounting for beginners number 122. Can't believe we're here. Can't believe we're still going. Going with these, going with these dailies for a little bit because you know who's gonna win? The one who shows it up. Yeah, I'm gonna show up every day. You're gonna study, you're gonna learn every day, you're gonna put in a little bit every day. We're gonna go, let's go. Over here is the complete playlist. Please look at this playlist. Also, please leave a question. I just uh, yesterday's video was a, a question. Please leave a question. In the comments down below, something you'd like to see, make a video. Uh, please leave a like. Cookie will be in the mail. Let's get into the video. This is a business has $55,000 on hand, $6,500 in bank, inventory of $12,500, owes creditors $5,000. What is the capital? A couple things. Let's look at our DC aid lur debits, credits, asset, draw, expense, liabilities, equity, revenue. Now this is why I have all my subscribers. If you don't know about this, watch watch my other videos, please, because it will help you if you're a beginner. If you've been with me, you know. First, first thing, first thing I want to say when I was writing this out, I never noticed this before. Liabilities has lit in it. And if you know about liability, that's when you owe somebody. So I don't think that's very lit at all. Let's proceed. Question is, what is what is the capital? Uh, we don't have that down here, but we got we got to think. Owners' equity, equity, and capital are really synonymous terms. Just by a couple on, on GP on games played, you're gonna know that that's what that is. This is uh, this can be capital as well. Equity, capital are pretty much sim similar things. Wants to know what what your equity, what your capital is. Now, because you have you have practice, you're not going to know off the bat. But doing a lot of practice, you're going to know the balance sheet and the bit. Balance sheet is my uh, biggest financial statement there is. In my opinion, it's the most important because it has the income statement in it. So the balance sheet, you're going to know the balance sheet is assets equal liability plus equity, capital. And you're going to know that, what else are you going to know? The basic accounting equation, the basic accounting equation. So it's like the accounting equation is assets equal liability plus equity. It's also, it's also built in on DC Adler. So there you go. And you know debits equal credits. So it's kind of built in on here for you. All right, so how so we're gonna how are we gonna find how are we gonna find the capital? How are we gonna find the equity? We gotta know we gotta know what the assets and the liabilities are, which I think they give to us, but we'll we'll do it and find out. So let's write let's write this out here. Assets equal liabilities. Uh, I don't think it's very lit. Plus, we'll say this one plus equity or capital capital for this one capital equity. And this is what our this is what our uh, question wants to know here. Let's go through these. Fifty five thousand dollars on hand. Fifty five thousand dollars cash on hand. Um, <clears throat> cash cash is an asset, and cash. I've done a video on cash before. Cash could be just cash on cash on hand, which is I guess rare these days, really. Also, money in a bank, uh, in, a ch in a checking account. $55,000 on hand is also known cash on hand. That's an asset. So let's put these in, our, in their uh, respective categories and find out what the equity is. So $55,000 cash on hand. That's an asset. $6,500 in a bank, in a bank account. So that's, for our purposes here, uh, that's just going to be on a separate thing, but it's going to be a current asset. $6,500 in bank. That's a, that's a future. What's an asset? Something that gives us a future economic benefit. So does cash on hand? Yeah. Uh, what, uh, in hands worth two in the bush. So, <laughs> uh, so the $55,000 is definitely an asset because it's a, it, we have it in our hand and that's going to provide an economic benefit for sure. And the bank as well. That's gonna provide an economic benefit in the future. So this is an asset. All right, so we've got this taken care of. Inventory of 12,500. Let's see, so we have, uh, let's say we have a Sharpie. We have a Sharpie widget. 
<laughs> Let's go back to the widget. These are widgets. <laughs> so we have a widget. We have a twelve thousand dollar five hundred widget it's sitting in our inventory. So it's sitting in our business, and that's going to provide an economic benefit because we're going to sell it for hopefully more than it's worth. So that so inventory is an asset as well. Twelve thousand five hundred. And we have one left, owes creditors of $5,000. Now, I, I, found, I found this question on the internet. Yeah, internet's gonna be huge, right? I found this question on the internet, and although we don't know, you know, owes a creditor, so it's probably an account payable, uh, a creditor. You know, who is a creditor? Someone, someone you owe is a creditor, and I have, I put it in here, owes creditors. You owe somebody money, I don't know, what I don't know what it is. I don't know when I owe somebody money. Asset. You gotta know that's that's an economic benefit. Is it a withdrawal? A person? Uh, is it a withdrawal? A shareholder distribution? A withdrawal from the business? No, not if I owe somebody. Is it an expense? No. Is it a revenue? No. Is it equity or capital? No. Is it a liability? Lit? Unlit? Is it a liability? Are you li? If you owe somebody, are you liable to them for something? Yes. Bing, 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 bing. So owes creditors five thousand dollars. We know that's a liability. Boom. <laughs> liability. Liability. Uh, so now we're gonna add all these up. Let's see here. This is gonna be a ooh zero zero zero. Carry the one, 11, 12, 13, 14, 5, 6, 7, 74, $74,000 equals $5,000 in liabilities plus, uh, we'll say, we'll do this one capital plus capital. Uh, now, what, now this is, see, this is going to be, this is going to be some out, this is going to be some algebra here. You would go 70, 74, 74K. You would bring you would bring this around the equal sign. So it would be 74K. Now this is a positive, so you're gonna bring it across the equal sign. Minus 5K is 69K or $69,000. When you're doing math and stuff, I always like to plug it, plug it back in to see if it works. You have $74,000 in assets equals 5,000 in liability plus 69,000 in capital. Do liabilities plus capital, liabilities plus equity, 5,000 plus 69,000 equals 74,000, yes. Math checks out. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're doing it from a different camera angle this time and everything's going good. We're keeping up our daily videos. I hope that, I hope we learned something. I hope we had a little fun. Uh, you know what? I love doing these, and I just gotta say, if you're here, if you're here till the end, let's talk, let's let's chat a little bit. Although I've been I've been told this is cringe fest, but hey, you don't have to stay. If you want to stay and you're here, good. I'm gonna say we've been having we've been having some tough we've been having some tough times. All right, and I'm trying to learn from my previous mistakes in life. Of just doing things on a whim. I'm trying to think things through. I, I, I get really, I get overwhelmed by a lot of things. And I just want to say, you know, I'm like, well, I got to make a video. I got to make a video because I'm doing daily videos. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. They're not going to be good enough. But I got to say, you know, it takes, these videos do take a few hours. Uh, probably, I'd say three hours. Three, four hours to do a video. Um, thinking about it, writing it up, recording it now, editing it, putting it up, thumbnail, all all the stuff, title, tag, description, takes probably, I'd say about four, four hours to do a decent little video. And, you know, it, it, it's nice to get a lot of views, to, to get some money off this, but I really don't make that much money at all. And it's just about being consistent. It's about showing up. It's about getting getting a comment that I help somebody. It's about taking three, four hours out of my day where I'm thinking, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And uh, actually making good with my time. So, you know, for whatever it's worth, I'm gonna have, I have my classic series and this is like, hey, you know, at least I've done something with myself. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate everybody's support. 
And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. All right, CPA strength, I'm out. Uh, deuces.